The Southern Kings are a group of misfits, players who were deemed surplus to requirements by the bigger unions and sent to Port Elizabeth to join up with what is regarded by many as the whipping boys of Super Rugby. But the men in black managed to form a formidable unit and have become a band of brothers over time. But I've been played all three seasons for Super Rugby and we always had that, that brand of being underdogs. But especially this year, we know we had to, you know, it's the first time the team gets together and, and we want to take up the challenge. Now it's, it's, it's lovely being the underdog in any fight. The Eastern Cape franchise has been a revelation this season, winning six matches when many did not give the Kings a chance to win a single game. Victories over the former champions, the Bulls, and the finalists, the Sharks, silenced their critics and exceeded their own expectations. The guys came back with three games left and we just said, listen guys, let's just have a go at all three games and see where this ends up. And, uh, I'm standing here now in front of you, we've won two of the, of the three with one to go. So we're really excited to, um, playing our last game in the stadium, in front of our home fans. The prospect of playing in one of the most famous European competitions will give the team exposure to an entire new audience of rugby viewers. But with one game to go, the focus remains on extending their winning run to three games. Name them, all the big teams are playing in that. Um, but to be honest with you, we haven't registered that much. The excitement is in the background with management in the stadium, with people in the offices, but the players themselves, we just excited about playing Super Rugby at the moment and we're just embracing that. The Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium behind me is where the Southern Kings will play their final Super Rugby game, ironically against the Cheetahs, another team exiting the competition. Speculation is rife that the Kings will join the Pro 12 competition in Europe but how beneficial or lucrative that will be remains to be seen for the region known as the hotbed of rugby talent in South Africa. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Port Elizabeth.